Today I'm going to show you where the intake and exhaust vanos actuators slash solenoids are on this N20. These are these guys right here. And in this video, we're going to activate them using a KZ power probe and we're going to check to see if they activate correctly and how you can test your vanos actuators at home. Now the intake side would have the intake vanos and the exhaust side is going to have the exhaust vanos. So each one of these actuators are swappable and you just need an E6 to take these screws out right here. It's very simple to remove these. You can flex them out to remove the solenoid. This is the intake side. And the exhaust side. Now you can see they, they both are identical. So they are swappable side by side. So you could swap them for diagnosis. I'm gonna bring you over to the table and we're going to actuate these with a 12 volt signal. Now these just run off of power and ground. So I'm gonna just take this test harness or you can put a couple of um, leads in here. But I have this airbag harness, which is the correct size pin. So I'm just gonna set that up like that. And then we can just power up the opposite end. Now I'm gonna be using the KZ Vehicle Super Probe, which this is a great power probe. I would recommend it. Let's get this all set up. One thing I like about this power probe is the probe lead is actually separate and you can push it up. And it has a really long cable, it has a external ground so you can use that as a ground, which is what we're gonna to need to do here. So one side's going to be my ground, and the working side is going to be my power, and my lead is actually hooked up to my battery on my E46, and then run all the way over to my table. So it gives you plenty of room. All right, so using a power probe, you press up for voltage and down to create ground. So you can activate components. And we're gonna go and see if I'm on the right side here. Just gonna to touch the wire, show zero. And I just activated it. And did you see that right there? Watch the plunger. It is now down. And I just activated it. And this is how you can test it. You can see how far it comes out. We can compare it to the other side. You can make sure that you can retract it. And that's all this solenoid actuator is doing, is just electronically pushing out on this little pintle right here to press on another piece, which is the Vanos, which is the Vanos central valve. You see right here, see how that presses in? So when that pushes in, it can actually supply oil pressure now to the Vanos actuator, and it does it on both sides. So you can actually check these also to make sure that there's no signs of swarf, which is a fancy word of saying metal filings and you can make sure that these are free to check your central valve. And these are replaceable also. That's why it's really great to have a power probe also at home. All these tools are just amazing to have and they're not overly expensive. And I really like the KZ one because they give you this nice display. The regular power probe, you don't have this display and it does a lot of other cool functions and even does a graphing function, which is absolutely amazing. So let's test the other one and see if it actuates the same distance. Okay, hopefully I got the polarity right. There we go. Activation of the solenoid. All right, see right here, the plunger went up and down. And this is how it would work in the vehicle too. Push that back down. So both of these test good. So if you were having an issue and the solenoids are coming out and, and staying under voltage, staying out and not dropping back in and you can compare, right? I can't push that down. Then you know that your actuator is good. All right, here's another neat tip 
All right, you're trying to bleed the system and you've just done some work and you're getting Vanos faults. Well, you can manually activate this the same way that we did, just using two wires and with the engine running, you can put voltage to this. Now the engine's going to bog down, but it's gonna actuate it and bleed out the system to get in the air pockets that might be causing some issues. And I have had that happen. You just have to manually bleed each side. You can do it on the exhaust side too. The engine will bog down a little bit and you just hit it for a second. Just tap it on and on and off. Right, so with that installed, it's probably gonna pop out at me, right? Because I don't have it bolted down, let's see. Nope, it didn't. You can hear it clicking. So it's actually pushing on the central valve and if the engine was running, it would be supplying oil supply to the Vanos unit. And that's all there is to it, as simple as that. So if you're having a Vanos fault, you can swap these side by side. You can swap the sensors side to side and see if your fault follows from intake to exhaust. And you can activate them. And what you're really doing is you can test your plunger and your Vanos because when you activate it yourself, the engine will bog down. And what that's saying is you have good oil pressure. This activated and your Vanos unit did activate. So you can kind of rule out multiple components and issues all in one shot. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this will help you do some diagnosis or some swapping on a BMW N20 engine. If you're interested in this KZ power probe, I'll put the link in the description box. I'm sure gonna be using it quite a bit in future videos. And again, one more tool that's great to have at home and it's not very expensive. Thanks for watching, a lot more to come and I'll talk to you soon.